another cutting and pasting, but yet again, you can go ahead and just draw them yourself if you like. So one half. There are going to be three different ways of representing one half down here. So we've got the circle. See if we can find them all. The square and the rectangle. So you can just draw each of those. Let's get a fun color here. About this teal -y color. So we can draw all of those. So you can go circle, square, I'm going to cut triangles, and rectangle. And if you're really into being really thorough, just like so. This page is a little bit more fun. So it says, follow the steps below to make the perfect pizza. Add sauce to the whole pizza. Of course, you guys are artists, so I don't need to give you many instructions about this, but I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I don't miss any because you don't want pizza without sauce. Add pepperoni to four eighths of the pizza. So you can get creative here and put it, do we have a good pepperoni color? It's gonna have to do. You could put it here and there and everywhere. Maybe one, two, but that's gonna make it tricky if you mix them around. So you might wanna do more like, ah, one, two, right? Huh? Keep them on the same side. That's of course totally your choice and uh, your artistic preference. Here we have word problems. So these questions just ask you to read a question that involves a fraction and then show how that fraction would look in the picture. So Tim ate one half of mom's pie. Color the part that Tim ate. They've already divided that for you, so all you have to do is cut one half. There you go. Those ones should be fairly straightforward, too. The last three, you'll notice, they ask you to divide them yourself. So you might want to try to look up above at these examples and use those as a way to model yours. This activity, they want you to color a couple of different colors for each fraction, and then identify how much of that fraction is colored in total and how much of it is still not shaded in. So here we have color one third orange and one third red. Yesterday I didn't know about all these extra colors, so I didn't have orange, but now I know I can find that down here. So I got my red piece, I got my orange piece, And now, how much of this fraction is colored? How much of it is still not? So colored is two parts out of three or two thirds. And the amount of it that is not shaded in is the remaining portion or one part out of three, one third. And we'll notice that two thirds plus one third gives you three thirds or one whole. These ones, they have taken dominoes and they put a smaller number on top, larger number on the bottom to represent fractions. So the first example they've already given you here, um, they've got a one and a six and they've shown one sixth. And for each one, you're just gonna read uh, these numbers as a fraction. So this is kind of a way to stretch your brain out to think about fraction numbers. So this one would be four fifths or four parts out of five. So we're going to highlight one, two, three, four. Kind of looks like Pac-Man. He's even got a little eye there. Look at that. All right. Here we are going to roll and draw a fraction. If you don't have a die lying around your home or any dice in any board games, uh, anything like that, you can always use that online one. Just Google virtual dice. So you're going to roll twice, uh, but before you write any numbers down, 
you need to do both rolls and here's why. Say you roll a six first and then after that you roll a four and you just write them right in there. Well, six fourths, okay. So fourths means we're gonna chop into four pieces and the six means we're gonna have six of them. Well, that doesn't make sense because we only have four pieces. So we need to, until we start talking about what we call mixed numbers and improper fractions, we're gonna keep our fractions proper. So if you roll the four and a six, smaller number must go on top, larger on the bottom. Making six is a little tricky at first, but you chop it in half and then you kinda go at an angle there and it looks funny for a moment and then you do the exact same line on the other side. And if you've done a little bit of a better job than me, you'll have six even parts and you'll highlight four, one, two, three, four. And you get kind of a Pac-Man thing going here too, but this is a Pac-Man with his mouth wide, wide open. And look at that, he's still got his little eye there. So you can do a few rolls and show a few different fractions there. And we don't have a page turn button, which means we've made it to the end. Great job.